Okay, welcome back. So today we're continuing with our efforts to refactor our code into our game manager here. Uh, we're gonna make it today so that our state machine is no longer in the grid. And we're not even really using a state machine anymore. Instead, we're just using a couple Boolean values. We're making sure that our game doesn't trigger the you win phase until everything is settled. So let's jump right in. Okay, welcome back. So today we're going to be moving some more stuff from the grid into the game manager. Today we're specifically going to be looking at moving the state machine. So if we look at our state machine currently, we have our different uh, possible states for our board to be in, and then we have our variable for state. But this really shouldn't be in the grid. The grid should only be taking care of stuff that it needs to know. So I'm going to replace these. I'm not going to delete them just yet, but I'm going to change it to... I'm going to call this um, stable variables. And so the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable for whether or not the grid is stable or whether like, the player can move. So can move. And I'm going to default that to true for when the game starts. I'm also going to create a signal, uh, which I'm going to use to notify the game manager of whether or not it can move. So I'm going to call this signal change move state. All right, so now back in my game manager here, what I want to do is have a variable about whether or not the board is steady, and that variable is going to be changed through that signal. So for my board variables here, I'm going to add another. I'm going to call this var board stable equals true. I'm going to create another function here to change the board's state, whether or not it's stable or unstable. So we'll call this change board state. And I'm going to say that my board stable is equal to not board stable. So if it's true, it's going to make it false. If it's false, it's going to make it true. Uh, and then when we're actually um, checking our goals, we're only going to go with the game one. So if goals met and board stable, so we won't have it refilling in the background when that wind screen comes up. So there we go. All right, now let's um, take a look at the grid script and let's actually find out what we need to change. So what I want to do is find all of the occurrences of state. So I'm going to use just Control F for state. And let's just go through here. So change move state. So state equals move. Uh, I can get rid of this. I can also get rid of this set max counter. I can get rid of these signals here too. That's nice. Freeing up a little bit of uh, brain space there. Uh, okay, so back to what I was looking at. Okay, so state equals weight. This is going to be can move equals true and state equals move this is going to be can move equals true that last one was supposed to be false can move equals false cool uh, can move equals true so instead of this being state equals move this is going to be if can move and then this stuff with the booster this is going to get moved as well when we refactor boosters relatively soon. So I'm just going to comment out that whole section. That's already commented. And then this is going to be can move equals true. And then can move equals true. And then what else? So this is going to be if, actually, I'm going to just comment out all of this and replace it with a pass, because we're coming back for the boosters relatively soon. Um, all right, so state add to counter. This is going to be can move equals true, but it's the same issue, those boosters. Um, this is going to be can move equals true. 
right? And then declare game over. I'm moving this entirely from here, but for now, can move equals false. Can move equals true. Um, all right, I might have made a mistake in there because I might have, at some point when it said state equals um, wait, I might have changed it to true, but let's find out here. All right, so let's give it a play. Um, let's swap pieces. I can't move. All right, so cool. That's good. Um, now, what I want to do is after everything is settled, I, oh yeah, and everywhere I'm doing that can move. So can move. I want to also emit a signal to the board to change its move state, which really isn't a state, it's just a Boolean variable. Emit signal, change move state. And I'm going to copy this. All right, so can move is true. Emit signal to change move state. Um, swap back. Yeah, that makes sense. If can move, that's fine. Can move equals true. Should this be there? Yep. Change move state. And I'm going to have to do something else here as well in this after refill method. Because after I change the move state, I want to check the... Actually, let's go back up to that one. I want to update the counter as well. So let's put this here. Let's actually just fix that by doing an order of operations thing and put that there. So we'll change the move state and then we'll update the counter. And when it updates the counter, um, it should know whether or not we won. So if we look at the grid here, I want to make sure that update counter is the one that was changing stuff in the game manager. Yep, it is. All right, cool. Um, all right, so there we go. Can move is true. Emit signal to change move state, and we don't need to do that. So I just need this change move state thing. And let's see here. This doesn't really need to be here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Same thing for this. And same thing for this. And for this one. These are going to change. Well, they kind of already have changed, but we'll do a whole episode where I go through and rip out any code that we don't need. Uh, okay, cool. So let's save all of our scenes. Let's hit play. Let's try this out here. So. My goal on this one is blue pieces, so I might as well focus on those. Okay, so it came down too early, so let's fix that. Check game win if, and board stable. Board stable is equal to not board stable. Let's, let's really quickly here, I wanted to print board stable to debug this a little bit and make sure it's doing what I want it to. Okay, so oh, I didn't actually connect those signals. That's why. Good lord. Um, okay, so with my grid uh, change move state, I'm going to connect that to the game manager. Any of you out there who noticed that I made this issue? Good job. Change board state. All right, let's try this now. Okay, so there's four of them. There's a bunch more than four of them. Okay, so it didn't actually send the signal like it should have. See, it did it after. Okay, so when we emit that signal to on grid check goal, but it's not check goal, it's update goals. On grid update counter if his moves. Oh, because that's just updating the counter. We want to check the goal. So 
I was using the wrong signal. Uh, let's go back here and I want to look at after refill. I can just rip all of this stuff out. That feels nice. Um, okay, so am I doing it when we're destroying the matches then, I guess? This is what happens when you go a week without looking at the... Yep, there we go. Emit signal check goal. And all pieces ij.color. So what I'm going to do for this then, if we go to our game manager and we look at our check goals, we got our goal type. And this goes to check goals, goal type. Check game win. Let's just add after our uh, board stable. Let's just add a check game win here. So, yeah, that makes sense. That should just fix it. I did do a de or like a, a test version of this, so I know I, it seems a little sloppier than I usually am. So apologies for that. But uh, I did do a test version of this. I just feeling tired tonight. All right, cool. There we go. So um, we've got the state machine in there now. So we need to do the game lose condition, and we need to start moving some of the actual booster functionality back over into the game manager. So tomorrow, we'll make sure that the game lose functionality is working, and then we'll start moving the booster stuff over into the uh, game manager. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description down below. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post new videos. I have a Patreon. As little as a buck a month helps me um, have this whole enterprise keep moving. <laughs> I have a Discord. Tons of really cool people there who are chatting and super interested in stuff and just generally great people. So check them out. And yeah. I hope everybody has themselves a wonderful day.